Welcome back. Open Spaces Kansas City Art Experience opened last month with several exhibits all over the Kansas City Metro. And I had the chance to visit with one of the artists to find out his inspiration behind Burnout. Sean, you've got one of your pieces displayed as part of Open Pieces KC called Burnout. Walk us through what that is. Okay. Uh, it's, um, it's an installation that winds along about a mile of one of the hiking trails, this hiking trail behind us. Um, there's 23 um, panels like this that are two-dimensional um, images of stones, kind of abstracted, simplified. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, it's one of the many installations with open spaces, which is in Swill Park and throughout Kansas City. Um, so for mine, uh, as you walk this trail, it's about a 20-minute walk, there's 23 of these, and um, it's a chance to um, see art in a very un-art-like un, un space. It's yeah. not a museum or a gallery. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a nice opportunity to be out in the trees and kind of see nature maybe in a different way. What kind of inspired your, or what inspired you to create this? Because I mean, normally, when I've talked to other artists before, you know, it's just, it's two dimensional on a canvas and that's, sure. the, and that's yeah. what it is. So you've got that canvas, but then you've also got 23 more of them and again, spread out over an entire mile. What made you want to create a piece of this size? Is that, um, well, I make a lot of paper sculpture. Um, and so, and that's always been kind of in a gallery setting or in a museum setting, um, a, a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. But all my work deals with a connection with nature. Most, I'm, I guess, I'm almost like a landscape painter or a landscape artist, but I use very non-traditional materials. So when um, I had this idea for creating these types of aluminum panels that have been digitally printed, and installing them out in nature, I was just kind of looking for an opportunity where uh, I, could, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And so when Open Spaces came along, um, I just thought that it would be a good opportunity and I knew that it was gonna be centered in Swope Park. Um, and so I did research, I found the trails, and I just, I thought it was a perfect opportunity. What do you want people to take away from your piece here when they come out to see you? Well, this piece in some ways is like a treasure hunt or a game. Each one of these, um, actually corresponds with the letter in the English alphabet. Okay. So in some ways I've encoded a message from nature, talking to us, as if, if this site could speak to us, what would it say? Which is an absurdist <laughs> thing, but um, we can't really get into all that. But <laughs> I'm interested in how we personify nature. We call it mother nature, which yeah. means we have, we try to form some type, some type of connection to it. So um, I've embedded a message throughout the trail. And if you come out and you download the key from the Open Spaces app or website, then as you go, you can actually see what that message says. Now, I'd, I'd never spent much time in Swope Park other than, you know, going to visit the zoo, uh, but getting back in some of those hiking trails and seeing a part, a part of the park that I've never seen before, I'm thinking to head back to, with the kids and get the app. We're gonna figure out what that message he's trying to tell us uh, with that piece, so it's very cool. And if you wanna join, Bill, there are actually 23 of those, so certainly a lot of artwork out there in Swope Park. Yeah, and of course, as part of this Open KC, or Open Spaces KC uh, experience that runs for a long time, it's scattered out all over through the metro, so lots of cool art out there to check out. Mm -hmm.